Yo, what's up guys, and we're here with the new Flame Charm Legendary Weapon. As you guys can see, I literally have it equipped right now. And guys, this Flame Charm Weapon, this new Legendary Weapon, feels like the most legendary weapon in all of Deep Dark right now. This really, like, brings, like, Crypt Blade and Curb Blade of the Winds in the gutter, bro. Like, quite literally in the gutter. Because this weapon is so unique. As you guys can see, I have a little dagger, right? Uh, a green dagger that's glowing. Uh, a fiery sword. Well, this is a heavy weapon and light weapon and flame charm requirement. Uh, let me show you guys the stats in the description of this weapon. And there are so much unique stuff about this weapon and secrets about it. So make sure you guys watch until the end because I'm going to be going over all the secrets about this. And it's, it's insane, bro. So let me sit down. And it's called Yasli's Pry Cleaver Kalo and Verdiant. Now, I don't know how I'm going to make a title out of this. Yes, it's Pride Cleaver, Colour and Variant Progression. Um, I'm just gonna, I don't know what to call it. But um, the stats of this weapon is right now, the damage is so insane, guys. And the swing speed is crazy. It has no end lag with a 0.7 swing speed. To put that into perspective, there are some medium weapons with 0.7 swing speed. And this has the damage of a heavy weapon. Right now, I only have 65 heavy weapon. If I had 100 heavy weapon and 100 flame charm, this would be doing over 60 damage. Keep, keep that in mind, right? Now, let me unequip it real quick. Let me just equip this so you can actually see the uh, requirements. So, it requires 65 heavy weapon, 50 fire, and 15 light, as you guys can see. And, dude, after they release this banger of a legendary weapon, they need to, like, curve blade and crypt blade because it just does not compare. Um, let me show you guys some of the stuff it actually does. So, uh, I have my friend Pumpkin here. And, Pumpkin, come here. So, when we hit any enemy, right, they get set with green fire. Look at that. Now, the green flyer does significantly more damage than regular fire. Now, it doesn't... You can roll, by the way. Now, it doesn't turn your uh, mantras to green fire either. Basically, what this means is that you have blazing enchant at all times with green fire. If you have nullifying clarity, it is absolutely insane because nullifying clarity is a 15% damage boost if um you hit someone with a status effect. Now, you guys are probably wondering, how do you actually get this weapon? Okay, how do you get this weapon? Well... It is quite a long explanation. Basically, it's from Hive from a quest. And I went really in depth on how to actually get this weapon very fast and very easy in my latest video called The Easiest Way to Get the New Legendary Weapon. So make sure you guys watch that if you want the easiest and fastest way to get this new legendary weapon. But I think it's time to actually showcase this weapon, guys. So this weapon has a ton of unique criticals. So the first critical is just the standing one is if I press R, this is what happens. It's a slash with two slashes with that. And we'll also show you guys the damage of everything too. Okay, so that's the first critical. The next critical is a running critical. Also, the critical cooldown is uh, so low. Like if I press critical right now, it's only an eight second critical. And it has a three variants, right? So let's start running around. And this is what the running critical looks like. So if we run, boom, boom. Look at that, bro. Tell me. That is not unfair. What in the world? It's literally a running attack. Look how far I go. And it gives me so much momentum. Guys, I'm not even like a heavy main. And I feel like I'm about to start mating this weapon low key. Because <laughs> look, I, I start running. And look at the range of this thing. Look how far it takes you. It has a little like uh, charge effect, right? Now, the next critical is um, a aerial critical. If I go down here and I jump and I do this, it's a little ground slam. Let me show you guys what it actually looks like when I'm actually hitting someone. So let me hit pumpkin real quick. If I just jump up and do this, oh, oops, I hit him with the normal critical. Let me uh, go a little bit further up. Okay, I'm on this log. I feel like a WWE champion. Ah, boom. And boom, he gets ragdolled. And um, it's, it's so unfair, bro. He said too much damage, bro. Guys, Pumpkin has like 550 health on that build. And I'm looking at his share screen. And I'm doing insane amounts of damage, bro. Uh, I'll show you guys all the damages in a bit. All right, guys. The next critical is if you're crouching, look at what actually happens when you're crouching. Boom, boom. Like, what in the world? So, so far, I showed four criticals. Oh, this guy's here. Hold on. Let me, let me attack him with the critical and let me see how much damage this does. How much damage? Guys, if someone comes with you to, with this new weapon... Do not let them damage test on you. How much damage? He has 520. He said a full bar with 526 HP. That is crazy, bro. And yeah, guys, it's four unique criticals, which is absolutely insane. All these criticals are so unique. And one thing that's really strong about it is if you use this critical, or not that one. Um, let me show you guys the correct one. If you use this one, where you're just uh, standing still, this one actually gives you a major speed boost, which helps you 
a lot, right? Now, let me show you guys how much damage uh, this weapon actually does, because it is insane, okay? So let's get Pumpkin, my test subject here. He has 550 HP for reference, okay? And now, let's see. All right, let's see how much damage a single M1 does. Boom! Oh my god, bro. It's like it's like uh, one third of a bar, and that's crazy considering I don't even have this like maxed out with 100 heavy and 100 flame. Because at 100 heavy and 100 heavy lamps can do like 60 damage. Now let's test the critical, right? So let's do the critical on him. Boom, boom. Okay, that is actually crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So that's the first critical. Now let's do the charging attack. Okay, let's charge towards you. Bah! Oh my. <laughs> Bro, and he's on fire during it too. That is crazy. Okay, let's do the little ground slam one now. 550 HP, keep in mind. So let's jump up here and. Bah! WWE warrior, okay? And finally, for our last critical, let's crouch, press R, and oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus! Uh, I just want to see the burn damage for green flames real quick, so come here, pumpkin. Okay, guys, uh, don't roll during this. Just let's see how, how much the burn damage is. So it's like 1% every tick, which is genuinely crazy. All right, you can roll. All right, guys, so we're going to let pumpkin heal up, and then let's do a 1v1 against pumpkin while we're level 8 and he's level 20 with 550 hp let's go check our hp real quick our hp is 234 let's see who wins because this new legend weapon is so overpowered that i wouldn't be surprised if we win guys <gasps> 0.7 swing speed with no end lag for a heavy weapon is genuinely insane i feel like i'm swinging like a medium weapon right now while doing the damage of a heavy weapon all right he's ready let's fight pumpkin boys you ready pumpkin Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do. Oops. Here. I'm trying to get you with the uppercut, but. Ow! You know, the 234 HP is really hitting. But let me just charge attack you. It's really nice to get hyper armor during, during that, to be honest. Boom. It's faint. Oh, and we hit you? Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Bro. <laughs> <That one's right. laughs> we shouldn't have hit that. Yeah, we shouldn't have hit that because we had hyper armor. But, um, as long as I spam my criticals. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't lie. You're, you're in pain right now. Lot. Don't even. You're hurting. I'm, I'm hurting too. I'm, I'm a bar. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Boom. We still hit that as well. This is. Oh my god. I mean, this is going to be like my funnest progression ever, to be honest. Oh, here. Let's just run the attack you. I was like, what's yeah, your health? Like 47%. Alright, guys. I'm level 8 with 234 HP. I had a dream. We, we sold the pumpkin. But I'm going to run this guy's fade, okay? Because, bro, this he's max level with 500 HP as well. Just like pumpkin. But he's in fresh G armor, so he's going to get dealt a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of extra damage. So, let me use Burning Servants. Parry this stuff. Or just not parry at all. You know, that's, that's also, like, completely valid. I, as long as it get some uppercuts in and also i just want to keep like using the charge critical guy i think the charge critical is like the most easiest to land oh my god this guy's getting cooked here no he almost hit me with that not gonna lie onslaught how do you cancel my thing oh yeah he's cooked oh yeah you're cooked oh my god he's cooked I, i'm getting dealt <laughs> so much health right now but it doesn't even matter because boom and bye he, he got rammed against the wall. Onslaught. We hit that as well. Oh, oh, brother. Oh, my God. This guy was a max level. Level 20. I'm level 8. 234 HP to my name. No vitality. And he said, this that weapon is so busted. This weapon is genuinely insane. I just lost a pumpkin, like, low-key. But why does it do so much M1 damage? I don't know. Here, let's run pumpkin's fade back one more time. I want to get my comeback. My comeback story, okay, guys? But this weapon is crazy. And no, it can't be enchanted, guys, for those of you wondering it. So let's just ram into Pumpkin like this. We get him. We're on fire for some reason. But let's hit him with the Onslaught. Okay. Let's do Uppercut. No. Out. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. I think bro, I think that critical might be my new favorite other than the Ram one. Because that one just gives you such a speed boost where you can, like, catch up to them. And oh, my God. Pumpkin, you good, man? <laughs> Holy. Ow, ow. Ow. Oh, you're cooked. Oh, you're... Pumpkin's botting out. His little bro brother is playing on the computer right now. Oh, God. Okay, he's clutching up. I'm a bar. 
Jesus. We snipe him midair. We get him here. Burning servants. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, bro. This weapon is insane. I, I'm i going to make a progression with this straight away. It's like genuinely really, really good. Ow. What? You think you slick? You think you slick? Wait, let me hit him on the ground and let me see if uh, they can burn with the green fire. So let's see. He said, I'm power one, dude. Oh yeah, they can. All right, guys. Perfect. And uh, yeah, that's the new flame legendary weapon. I'm going to make a progression video. If you want to know how to actually get this, watch my latest video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. And bye-bye, guys.